I'm just touching the ones that are at the end of it. You want to get your regular retwist. Like I said, do not neglect your regular retwist because this, doing this over too much will literally ruin your dreadlocks. Welcome back to another video! Let's go! Welcome back to the universe today! Is a new day! Let's go! We got a fighter! We have three ways you guys can make your dreadlock look crispy. This is the best way to do it. This all adds up too. If you wanna use them all, <laughs> what if I talk like that? That'd be so weird. I'd be like, back in 2016, Diddy type of deal. Like that's how I used to talk. I'd be like, <laughs> what up, man? <laughs> but now, you know what I mean. I'm just chilling. So hit the likes for that. I'm a chill person. I used to scream much louder back in the days. Now it kind of screams, so RIP for the AirPod users. Today we got a special treat for y'all. And before I get into those treats, man, it's treat treats. I want you guys to show some love on Pineapple World, man. I just dropped another banger on that channel, man. And I want you guys to keep on showing some love because this banger is just immaculate. Immaculate? 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 Impeccable. Thanks. Weird noise in the background. And the channel is Pineapple World, of course. And uh, it's, it is where it is a place where your journey matters. So we're gonna be featuring like a bunch of people that we have done their hair or even in the future, what I wanna present is picking one person a month at least to get featured. I already have one month and that is Montel. We're gonna be featuring him soon because he's trailer his dreadlocks journey on Pineapple World, Facebook private group page called Pineapple Fam. That is where people get to share their journey People get to ask questions, people get to motivating each other, man. So go join that. And also, if you guys have not followed the page for the Instagram, go follow that because as soon as you do so, we're gonna feature you on the front of the page on the story, man. That's the main thing that a lot of people look at, right? Whenever you go to a page, you look at the story. Second big announcement that's coming in front of you guys is that Pineapple World will be launching a website soon. And this website will consist of the Activerse Dreadlock Jewelries. We completely sold out, but this time, I'm gonna make sure we don't sell out that fast, man. Cause I'm gonna get a bunch. I'm gonna get a bunch for you, 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 and you. All right, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Three top tips, like, I mean, like, if you're doing this three things, your dreadlock will always look crispy. I don't know why I'm mad. Because I want to make sure that I communicate this with you clearly. Ooh, I'm, I'm putting some bars crispy clearly. That's all right. So, number one is always do your retwist. Why, why did y'all think it was something else, man? Why, 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 the, why the heck did you think it was something else? Huh? Huh? You thought I was gonna say sleep, right? Oh, sleep with a bonnet, night routine with activers. No, that's not it. That's not what I'm here to tell you, man. I'm here to tell you the honest truth, and I'm gonna show you how to get the best retwist in like literally three minutes. Maybe five minutes. So this is the first method and I'm gonna show you to you right now. Dreadlock jewelry locking gel. Dreadlock jewelry locking gel? What? Dreadlock locking gel. I got great locks. Turn down the brightness, famo. All right. Great lock locking gel. This is a pretty good smelling locking gel. And what you're gonna focus on is to be crispy really fast, just the front of your hair. I know this is kind of a lazy way. You wanna get the whole entire dreadlock. But if you're a person like me that don't like seeing this scalp often, you don't wanna do this often, you just wanna do this on occasions or different things like that. Just get your normal retwist once a month or so. So you start from the front, grab the front of your hairs. It's gonna be, uh, consist of these hairs right here, boom. And like some of them right here. You can't even see anything right here. It just looks like a fro. You want to keep it consistent like that because 
the moment that you are you know going in with the brush or anything like that and you're trying to line up your hair you're going to end up grabbing some of this hair and uh it's going to end up basically being part of your hairline and not the dreadlock and the dreadlock actually needs more hair to continue to grow with the rate that it should be at if you're taking hair down from this part of your hair to give your, yourself a, a lineup basically then not your dreadlocks at the end of the day really to be honest with you that's what you're doing and I'm not bashing on anybody that's already doing that. If you're already doing that, that's fine. If you already got a hairline, that's fine. But for me, what I did is I went through the ugly phase or the rough phase, I would say. I don't say ugly no more. Of growing this out and putting it back. And that's why it looks really, really thick compared to like another drill log down here. This one is thick too. Like really thick. This one is actually one of my thickest ones. But there used to be another one right here. It's not as thick as what my front ones look like. This was, this is how I originally looked in the front and it got thinner and thinner as time went on and I kept on pressing it down uh, as I was my own barber and I learned to correct that. So if your barbers don't notice these things, especially if you go to them often, then you have to educate them or maybe start watching my videos and start cutting your hair. So for the first tip, basically I'm gonna show you, it's easy. It takes you about like three minutes. Just like grab a little bit of gel and I'll apply even water. So I don't have my spray right now. But you usually spray it with water grab a little bit of gel like literally light and this is a really good gel too so if you guys have not ordered this greatlocks.com got you covered order yourself one and so yeah you go like that boom put it in the back same thing with right here and i'm gonna show you all the difference man i'm gonna look like a whole different man and it's good to wet it just lightly don't wet it too too much because then you'll be dripping while you you know while you out the house or something like that you want it to be something that's gonna that's why i recommend even like to spray it i don't know where my spray bottle is at you just want to make sure the bottom is tight that's the main part you're concerned with and if you have frizz of course kind of go like that around it but my frizz is not bad at all you can't even notice it really as you guys can see i didn't touch none of these ones i'm just touching the ones that are at the end of it because that's when the because those are the ones that really really matter literally you're not doing the rest of them just the end part and this is the lazy way of doing it of course you want to get your regular retwist like i said do not neglect your regular retwist because this doing this over too much will literally ruin your drill locks to be honest with you because you will neglect to you always would think that it's already done and so you would neglect to do the inside ones and those are the ones that really matter because the outside ones is half it's almost like half done because they're all they don't have any place to connect to but the insides they connect in uh, four angles and so that matters that like you don't do this often just because i'm showing you doesn't mean this is what you normally do so i want to just say that disclaimer out there i don't want to encourage you guys to do this all the time but this is to make your dread like a little crispy while you want to go you want to go somewhere you know real quick or anything like that you want to be able to make it look nice and i have two more tips after this also Y'all see a whole difference? Earlier what it looked like, it looked like they, there ain't even nothing going on in the, inside the dreads versus now. See it all looking nice and crispy. And this is all the trick that goes down to it. There is some times that I go uh, up one more, two more, just cause how thick this is. You see how thick that is? That's a whole dread lock right there. And this is one of my thickest dread locks. And so it just looks dark as heck in there. <laughs> So I'm gonna just take it out and make sure that it's good. This is how I originally intended intended my, all of my dreadlocks to look like. Some of them end up congoing with each other, some of them, and some of them just ended up kind of like how they do now. They didn't thin out really. Like for people that say like my hair is thinning out, that's a cap. My hair is as thick as it used to be, and it always been the same size. And you can you can even see it with this dreadlock, you know, like the thickness is there. Like where did it go? It's, it's still there. It's still thick. What are you doing, Ma? I'm gonna do that part right there, and then even touch up some of the back ones as I go I'm seeing a lot of connection going on I may even touch up on other ones but that literally took me like five minutes to do right there now you have a crispy all see the whole thing so that is tip number one right there and I did this on uh, in order on purpose tip number two is to line yourself up if you guys don't know how to cut hair that's fine but you guys at least have to line yourself up if you guys can cut your hair this is a time to do so a haircut makes a whole world difference like I don't care what kind of hairstyle you have a haircut makes the difference I have a really nice cinematic shot that I've done before and this is how I usually cut my hair let's get into that
Tip number three that can make your dreadlock really, really stand out is actually getting hairstyles. And that is two strand twists, braids, barrel twist, different style of ponytail, pineapple style. You can name you can name the hairstyles. That is the third way to make your hair stand out, look good, you feel good, you do good. Have you ever heard that term? You feel good? Now you do good. All right guys, this is with the all tips that I gave you guys. All three tips together. This is what man's look like right now. Look at this, man. Boom, hair clean as heck. Line crispy, crispy as a mug. Look at that, boom. And I only lined it, I didn't even touch it with the razor yet. Still have some hair. Did you say razor? Razor. I even split this open. I think I got in here a little bit to try to match it with this one. But this is with the haircut, y'all. I look like a different man, don't I? This is how you make your hair or a dreadlock stand out 100%. Like 100%. If you guys are struggling with how you look and different things, do this three tips. At least do one, and that is getting a lineup. Lineup always goes a long way than any of the other tricks for your dreadlocks. Number one, I'll rank them this way. Number one, lineup. Number two, uh, retwist. And number three, hairstyle. And the reason I'm saying that is watch, look at this free form right here. Like a semi free form in the bottom, so there's not retwist, there's not fresh look. But the haircut makes it really stand out. So haircut is the best thing to do, the best thing to invest in yourself. Coronavirus taught us that. When everything closed down, coronavirus taught us that, man. You had no place to go. Everybody, all of y'all looking bummy, except those ones that know how to cut their own hair. At least line up your hair. Just get your Walmart clipper or so. That's how I started. You know, it's not how you start though. It's how you finish that what matters. So don't forget to to apply all these three tips. But till next time, keep acting the version, creating your universe. I love you, babes. I'm acting verse and I'm out, man. Sheesh, your boy looks amazing. Look at that. And I, the only hairstyle that I'm you doing right now is actually. Just a ponytail, bro, to cover up the back neck for the new journey that I started recently. That's it. That's it. Y'all sleeping on haircuts.